Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are doing well. And today we're going to talk a little bit about perfume oils. So yeah, subscribe if you like videos about fragrance, fashion and lifestyle and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I will also link my Instagram down below. So without further ado, let's get started. So today we're going to be talking about a company called Oil Perfumery. Now they make pure perfume oils inspired by designer and niche fragrances. And they actually have over 400 uh, fragrances that you can choose from so the chances are very high that you'll find the fragrance that you're looking for and they're always adding new fragrances to the website so basically the fragrances kind of look like this or the perfume oils look like this this is a 10 ml and it has a little roller ball that you can just roll onto your skin so basically these are like the pure perfume oils so when it comes to perfume it will have a certain oil concentration a little bit of alcohol and a little bit of water so usually between 5 and 15 percent is going to be your eau de toilette and between 15 and 20 percent oil concentration is going to be your eau de parfum and anything above 20 percent oil concentration is usually going to be like your extra de parfum or in this case this is the pure perfume oil so there's no extra alcohol or water or anything else this is just the pure perfume oil the first this one is Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford or that's the fragrance that this one is inspired by and this one is basically like a coconutty uh, slightly tropical white floral fragrance so it really is like a creamy almost sunscreeny vibe that you get from this fragrance I actually think you can pick up the fact that it is an oil it makes the fragrance like automatically smell a little bit more thick and creamy almost a little bit heavier um, so it just smells very like thick and creamy but that can also be because of the tuberose but yeah Overall, not my favorite fragrance, but if you like something that's like a little bit coconutty with some pistachio, that's kind of like a little bit tropical but also sweet, maybe you should try uh, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. So the next fragrance I was probably the most excited about, and this one is the Armani Privé Rouge Malachite or Rouge Malachite Dupe. I'm not exactly sure if it's pronounced Malachite or Malachite, I don't know. Let me know down below. Um, but the reason why I was so excited about this one is because so many people compared this one with Alien. When I heard that this is more like an upscale or high-end version of Alien, I was immediately like very very intrigued this one is a jasmine amber fragrance which is the similarity with alien but this one also has like tuberos and i think orange blossoms i was really hoping for that wow factor um which i didn't really get with this one but to be honest the more that i've been wearing it and the more that i've been smelling it the more i have been appreciating the scent so I think this is just one of those fragrances that kind of grow on you. Like I have a lot of fragrances like that where I initially didn't really enjoy it that much or think it was that amazing. But the more I wore it and the more I smelled it, the more I started really, really enjoying the fragrance. So I think it's the same with this one. It's like a very sweet, creamy tuberose with some jasmine, some amber, a little bit of orange blossom really really nice um yeah i would definitely recommend this one so the next one i was also really really excited to try and this one is a dupe of jojof lira now basically this fragrance is an extremely sweet like caramel vanilla fragrance yet it definitely has like a zesty kind of opening like this literally smells to me like some type of um lemon uh, muffin or cupcake or lemon cake and it smells to me literally like a freshly baked lemon cupcake with like those lemon peel shavings on top so this one has blood orange it has bergamot so that's going to be your citrusy opening this one also has jasmine it has a uh, cinnamon vanilla caramel um yeah so it's a very very edible fragrance super gourmand like it leans almost to gourmand like it almost smells to me like something that you'll find in your kitchen so if you want to smell super gourmand or super edible then this might be the perfect fragrance for you but if you're not a gourmand lover and if you don't want to smell like an actual cupcake then you should not go for this fragrance so that can be either good or bad depending on what you like but yeah Georges of Lira definitely a nice one to try okay so the next one is inspired by Mimosa and Cardamom by Jo Malone this one, not gonna lie, this one is my least favorite. So this one actually only has three notes. It has mimosa, cardamom, and tonka bean. And for some reason, these notes combined remind me of something, like some type of baby product. I don't know if it reminds me of a baby oil, a baby cream, or something like that. But it reminds me of a baby product. And 
yeah once i made that connection i couldn't unsmell it unfortunately however that being said i can imagine this smelling good like on a summer day on a summer day with a nice breeze coming through and you catch a whiff of this fragrance like it does have a very like cooling vibe um because i, I guess it's like the mimosa and everything but unfortunately for me like i can't unsmell the baby pod like once i recognize that it reminds me of some type of baby product i can't un unsmell that and it's not like a baby powder in a good way for me so yeah this one unfortunately is my least favorite but maybe if you like mimosa if you like cardamom and a little bit of tonga bean just try it out but yeah this one is not for me okay so let's move on to the last fragrance of today and this one is inspired by killian black phantom so this fragrance is a dark chocolate rum caramel a little bit of almond fragrance you can definitely get the rum you can definitely get the dark chocolate it also has caramel it also has coffee um it also has almond and sugar cane um but yeah it's a very very like dark uh, fragrance to me it also smells to me a little bit more mature and in my personal opinion this fragrance is a little bit more masculine leaning so yeah i would say unisex but a little bit more masculine leaning so it's just like a very dark a thick kind of powdery intense boozy fragrance if you like boozy gourmand fragrances then you should definitely try black phantom by killian so yeah guys that wraps up my review of these oil perfumery perfume oils and i'll link their website down below so you can check them out and like i said they literally have over 400 uh, fragrances to choose from that are inspired by designer and niche fragrances so the chances are very high that you'll find the fragrance that you're looking for and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up i also have lots of exciting content coming up so stay tuned and subscribe if you like videos about fragrance fashion and lifestyle and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss my future uploads i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys